Hi, this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life, and welcome back to the Shimmers Paints YouTube channel. And if you want some free paint, leave my name down below into the comments when you order, and you'll get something free. So, I decided to cut out this little piece of paper that's from the Pink Fresh Studio line, um, Little by Little, I think is what it's called. I got this from the July Hip Kit Club um, kit. I got almost everything except for the mixed media because y'all know that I use Shimmers Paints. And so what I am doing here is I am doing tons and tons of splattering, tons of different mixed media. So I'm going to ramble these off as you're doing it. So I've already put down the Spritz, the saf Sapphire. The one that I just finished up was Spritz, The Chance of Rain. The one I am working on is Vibes, Ginny B. Blue. Um, once I finish up with that, I come in with my colorings, Oh Say Can You See. I have quite a bit. So what I'm doing is, is that I'm just splattering away on this because I'm going to leave this as the bottom piece of it because I wanted it to have a little bit of dimension between it and the yellow is colorings no yoking and I did gesso to make it a little bit of a lighter color on the bottom I did draw a line exactly where I wanted to place this particular one for like the banner piece to sit for the photos and that color is the spritz um Caribbean Sunset and then the very last one that you'll see me pull out that's sitting right there that I'm working on It's the Spritz Plum Pudding. I went with quite a bit of different colors. I kind of went with I guess I kind of went with the rainbow on this. I kind of followed what the picture or like the strips of paper that came from that and now I started doing the rain the runs the, like the lines and I wanted to show you I kind of if you wanting to kind of direct your lines is you drop t quite a bit on there and then you take your dry, you know, your dryer and do it with your heat gun. Now, I put quite a bit. I just do a couple of drops and then I just run it. And I leave it turned on and you let it run itself so the heat from it kind of moves it and gives you those lines. So it's a little bit more uniform form it still runs and it still looks like paint lines but it's not like it's your you're kind of trying to run it if the best way I can explain it so that yeah my runs look a little weird but by the time you put everything on there it doesn't look bad I ended with shimmers for right now and the shimmerings heavy metal is like my new silver and I'm just drawing those pieces up one of them did run on me which doesn't bother me and then, um, excuse me, and then um, I do round out with the shimmerings, the heavy metal at the end. So while I'm letting that dry, I got out the Project Life cards and I did a bunch of cutting. And now I'm just placing these on there. These photographs are of my daughter playing soccer. This is her first season. And while I drop this all down into the blog post, she has been playing since she was about three, four between three and four years of age and she started over in Europe and then worked her way um, over here into the States when we moved back from Germany. She's absolutely a huge soccer person. She has definitely got a colorful um, personality on her. She um, gets mad, she gets flustered, she gets frustrated, she gets sad. Every Every single emotion you could think of comes out on her. I don't, I'm not fixing it right now because it isn't bad, but her facial expressions is a lot like her mom's and I've got to fix that. We will definitely be fixing that later on in life because it's going to get her into trouble when she's doing sports. So, um, I've already placed down the foam tape for this. And I already took the sticky pads off, so all I have to do is glue on it because this ended up being about an hour worth of my time because I had to dry and, you know, put all this foam stuff on there and that kind of stuff. So I tried to leave some of that out. 
And now I'm just going through and I'm adding all of this stuff on there and I'm making it all look good and I'm wanting to get it all stuck down and I place it down and some of them don't exactly match up but they're close in the areas and I don't mind that the colors are a little off. But it's okay because by the time I put everything on here and make it look good, it's completely fine and it turns out wonderful. I love how this turned out. So I'm just placing everything down. I'm looking at what I want to do. Now these little pieces that I'm working on right here, I'm taking off the foam because I didn't want a big, big fat dimension on there. I wanted it a little bit smaller. And you'll see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to cut this piece out. And I don't mind because it gives that little bit of a backing piece to make it look right. And then I get this all down. I try to make sure that this gets really stuck. And I'm pretty much almost done with it. Now it's just me mainly embellishing. So I hope that you enjoyed how I did this. I really, really love how you can take the splatters and just make it look perfect and run the lines. I hope that my explanation for the lines of how I used my heat till work, if it wasn't, if you're still kind of confused on it or not quite sure what I did, just leave a comment down below. I do come back and check everything so that if there is a question, I'll, you know, answer it. So they had some rub-ons from one canoe too. And so what I decided to do was is that I wanted to put these on the both spots of the photos. And that's kind of my embellishment because it's so mixed media based on the bottom that I kind of wanted to leave the top just a little bit on the lighter side for embellishment purposes. I could have probably put my title up on top, but I decided not to. I just wanted to leave that little bit of white space with that purple running down just by itself. I just thought that that worked out perfect. It looks good because it still brings your eye down to the photos. And with that busy colors down on the bottom, it works perfect. Because I do want your eyes to come down to the mixed media part and not and focus on the picture but really focus on that I did do mixed media on this and added just a little bit above the photos and so now I'm coming in with the enamel dots and I'm placing the enamel dots in certain little spots the colors that I have is what I put out I don't do much more down on the bottom I just kind of leave it the way it is I love how it is. My title goes down there with some of my journaling. And then I think I add a couple more flowers and then I'm pretty much done. So make sure that you go check out the blog, all of the items that I use. Everything that you could possibly think of is all there for you to go look at. Make sure that you join the group. The group is amazing. I love the ladies over there. We post quite a bit. And I just love, 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 love how this turned out. I add a couple of the flowers from that. The title is going to be called Enjoy Life. I just love that title. I think it works perfect for this because right now her life is all about soccer and school. Those are kind of her jobs if you want to call it. I always tell the kids, especially for third graders because I am a teacher, I always tell the kids, your job right now is to come to school every day and educate yourself. That is your job. My job is to educate you and your job is to learn my education. So there they are. There's the still shots and I hope that you enjoy it. Please like and subscribe. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.